friends, welcome back, and if you're new, welcome. My name is Nikki. I hope that you will consider subscribing. I currently upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. I have two other channels if you're interested. I have a vlog channel. I know I keep saying exciting stuff is coming on the vlog channel, but if you're into vlogs, I think you'll like what's coming up this summer. So I always link that down below. I also link my, <laughs> I'm spaced out. It's like 85 degrees in my apartment. If you know about me being a frugal franny, you know I don't like turning the air conditioning on. Um, so I just sweat it out in this big ass wig. Reselling channel, so one of my part-time jobs is I resell clothing, shoes, handbags, accessories, all that stuff on Amazon, eBay, and Poshmark. So if you're interested in a side hustle or you've heard of reselling, I've been doing it for 10 years as one of my many jobs. I'll link it down below. I'm excited for today's video. I have been telling you guys that I was subscribed to all three Ipsy's for almost a year now, if you're new here, I have had Ipsy for five years. I always unbox it on my channel. I'll link the playlist down below. I used to be a subscription box addict. Um, no, I'm not kidding. At one point I had 10. I had the Allure box. I had BoxyCharm. I had the Sephora Play, which I really do miss. They got rid of that. So I finally subscribed to all three Ipsy's because I've had Ultimate since it launched the $50 box in October and Girlfriend, I'm not enjoying it. Um, yeah, if you wanna hear about that, I'll link those down below. So I said, why not just compare all three? So we're gonna talk about um, the Ipsy Glam Bag, which is $12 a month. I haven't had that in years. Because from before the Ultimate, I had the Glam Bag Plus, whenever they launched that two years ago, I don't know. So I haven't had the normal Ipsy bag in years, I wanna say. So. I subscribe to all three. Those videos are coming where I unbox all three, but they just sent me my product selection and I thought we would go over it. So let's start with the, here's the thing. I'm subscribed to Ipsy Glam Bag, Ipsy Glam Bag Plus and Ultimate, but they only sent me a choice for the Glam Bag and the Ultimate today. They didn't send it for the Plus. So I don't know if that's coming later. Today is June 24th. Maybe it's coming at a later time. You would think they'd send them all on the same day. Okay, I will put, what, where should I put it? I really love this lamp. I picked it up on Amazon. I'll link it down below. I'll put pictures of everything here. First up, Kat Von D Beauty. We did a video months ago saying, let me move my mic. Is Kat Von D canceled? Did you hear about the drama with that? I used to really like her makeup too. Um, the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. I have enough liners, so I'm not gonna pick that up. Well, I'll tell you which one I chose. Um, mud, what is this? Mud Masky Facial Detox Purifying Recovery Mask. Now, if you've seen any of my um, Ultimate unboxings, you know I'm so sick of them sending me skincare. Some of the skincare they send I like, some of it I don't. But since I've been subscribed to Ultimate since October, I'm not kidding you, if you look at any of those unboxings, like 70% of the box is skincare. And I like a good mix, and I keep telling them that. They keep sending me quizzes and surveys. Yet they keep sending me the majority of the stuff um, as skincare. It's very annoying. Pixie by Petra Lip Lift Max and Shiro's. I have, I'm not kidding, probably a hundred lip products. I don't, I try not to choose lip products unless it really calls to me. Um, so I didn't choose that. Rated Green Rosemary Balancing Scalp Pack with Charcoal. I have no idea what that is. I'm guessing it's like a scalp detox thing. I mostly, I am so burpy. I mostly, <laughs> excuse me. I just like literally like hiccuping tortilla chips. Um, I mostly wear wigs and weaves, so I'm not doing that. <laughs> oh God, how do you say this? Phytocell Moisture Sika All-in-One Serum. Again, I'm just like passing on the skincare because I know they're gonna send me a shit ton of skincare anyways. Verb Curl Cream, again, this is a wig, weaves. I wanna do a video on my favorite Amazon wigs because you guys, if you're on a budget, you can get an Amazon wig. I'm not gonna tell you it's gonna last forever, it won't. They're usually synthetic, but under 50 bucks, it'll last you a couple months. Like I've had some synthetic wigs I bought from Amazon that last me like three months, which I think isn't bad. Uh, Koki Cosmetics Crystal, Crystal Fusion Liquid Eyeshadow and Polaris, Polaris. I need to put my glasses on. Anybody else not wear their glasses? I need to start doing that. I can see up close, although this looks a little blurry. 
It's usually from a distance, but I think it's getting worse. This is what I chose because I want them to send me makeup. So I'm like, maybe if I choose some kind of eyeshadow, they will send me mostly makeup. So that's what I chose. It looks really pretty. And I haven't tried a lot from Koki Cosmetics. If you have, let me know some of your favorites down below. After this video, I'm actually going to place an order on ColourPop. I've only ordered from ColourPop once, and I really like the stuff I bought. So... If you have any recommendations for ColourPop, let me know down below. I saw someone using one of their like green minty palettes and it looked beautiful. Um, next up, Ciate London Watermelon Burst Hydrating Lip Oil. Oh wait, or did I choose that one? I think I chose the Koki, yeah, because I love a good lip oil. But some lip oils can be drying, I like them to be moisturizing. And then... Oh, I cut off the last one. The last one, I think it's either an eyeliner or a lip liner, but I didn't really like the color. It's almost like a burgundy color, so I didn't choose that. Let's move on to the selections for the Glam Bag Ultimate. And what's funny is that there is a crossover. One of the selections that you can choose for the Ipsy is also in the Ultimate, which I don't know. How do you guys feel about that? I don't like that. I think there should be different product selections for each pay tier so the $12 the 25 the 50 I think the least they can do is switch those I don't like that one of them crosses over so first up pure release beauty cleansing milk I don't want skincare I know you guys are probably tired of me saying that but I just feel like if I choose that skincare item the whole thing is skincare um Ciate London so this is the water oh no no it's not the same sorry this is the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer. They look similar. So in the Ipsy bag, you get the lip oil. This one is actually the primer. So I redact that last statement. There are no crossovers from what I see. Maybe you have some crossovers. If you guys are subscribed to multiple bags, let me know. Did you have any crossover products? Tarte, Tardis, Double Take Eyeliner in Black. I thought about choosing that, but I have a lot of eyeliners. This palette looked boring AF to me. No shade or anything. I just... I got a very neutral palette in my last box. I think it was from Douce, Deuce. And yeah, I don't need another one. Just very neutral colors. I'm not a neutral girl. This is as neutral as I will go. Um, it's called Sakura Sage Vegan Eyeshadow and Blush Palette. No. This is what I chose. I don't know how to say this. La Russe Beauty. I do like that Ipsy introduces me to brands I've never heard of. Um, I chose their Essentials Brush Set. This sounds ridiculous, but I always feel like I need more brushes. I'm not kidding. I probably have about 70 makeup brushes right now, but I feel like a lot of them, like 50% of them are on the tail end of needing to be thrown out. Like my brushes last me a long time. Affordable, I have a good mix of affordable and expensive brushes, mid-ranged, but I mean, some of those brushes I've had for like five, eight years, and so a lot of them need to be thrown out, so. That's why I chose the brush set. There's two things from Il Maquillage. There's two brow pens, one in Truffle, one in Espresso. Didn't choose that. Awake Glow Pill Super Serum. Again, skincare, nay nay. Beauty For Real, I think those are eyeshadow sticks. And Foxy Bay something. Oh, they're hair mask, Foxy Bay hair mask. Again, I don't need hair mask for synthetic wigs, so. Those are the selections for the two bags. I don't know where the selections are for the um, Glam Bag Plus. Maybe it'll come tomorrow. I'll keep you posted. Stay tuned. We're going to unbox all three bags when they get here. Who knows how long that'll Hi, friends. Present day Nikki here. I wanted to let you know I did get the product options the day after I filmed this for Glam Bag Plus. So you can see there's a bunch of Il Maquillage, eyeshadows, another Tarte mascara, and then some type of eye cream and you know how I feel about skincare so I chose one of the eyeshadows so here's glam bag plus all right let's talk about some products I've been using first up from Clarins you guys know I'm a huge fan of Clarins this is their hand and nail treatment cream it says it to softens <laughs> soften hand softens hands targets age spots oh I didn't even know it did that and strengthens nails you guys I'll show you a close up. It smells like something they would put on you at a spa or a nail, <coughs> a nail shop. I've been stuffing my face so much that my body is just like, girl, can you slow down? We've already gained 20 pounds in quarantine. 
I love the way it smells and it feels really lightweight. It's not super oily. I didn't know that they even made hand creams or lotions like for the body until they sent this to me. I do, I am almost done using their cellulite cream and their body scrub. So I'll let you know, cause that's coming up. I use it almost every day. Oh, I love the way that smells. It's not heavily scented, but it is scented, but it's light and airy. It's just, if you've been to a nail shop anywhere, you know that lotion they put on you like after they're done um, massaging your hands or massaging your feet? It smells like that and I love it. I miss the nail shop so much. They just um, were allowed to reopen here in the Los Angeles area, but a lot of them have not opened. I feel bad. I don't know if they're like completely out of business. Like they still have the signs and the windows and everything, but they're not open. So I don't think they went out of business, but I literally called like 15 nail shops the other day and none of them answered the phone. And then I went to 10. This is how desperate I am because my feet look like eagle claws right now. <laughs> I've been trying to do it myself. I went to 10, none of them opened. So let me know if they're open in your area. <laughs> All right, next up from Primera, we have their, I'm looking at the French side. I'm like, what? I think that's French, yeah. The Mild Facial Peeling Gel, uh, gel? I can't speak. I actually got a sample of this. Was it in BoxyCharm or Ipsy? I really like it, and it does work, friends. Your face does, well, not your face doesn't peel off, but it, it's just a really good mild exfoliant, and I think even people with sensitive skin can use it. It says it's an easy does it, botanical base exfoliator that gently buffs away dead surface cells to leave skin instantly softer and smoother. And it really did that for me. Like I used it and it kind of like sloth soft. I don't know what other way to say it, but dead skin. I really like this, especially as someone who has textured acne prone skin. I didn't know this. It says it has broccoli sprout extract and calming neem leaf extract. So this is a clean brand you can pick up at Sephora. I've become a huge fan of them over the last year. I like their lip balm. I like their face wash. Is it their face wash? I think it's actually their toner and I like this peeling gel. So I'll link them down below. Let's see, are there any other updates I want to tell you about? I feel like life updates we should just do on the vlog channel. Um, I was supposed, so I haven't traveled anywhere since the beginning of this year and I have the itch. If you're subscribed to the vlog channel, you know I travel quite frequently. I actually travel quite a bit by myself. There's a lot of solo travel vlogs that will be coming up from Santa Barbara, Wyoming, Colorado. I travel a lot, well I used to for my full time job, so I even went to London by myself once. Um, I've been, I travel a lot alone, but I also travel with friends and my boyfriend. So we, his birthday's coming up. Oh, hang on, phone call. I don't know who that is. I don't answer random numbers anymore because it's usually just a scam. Um, my boyfriend's birthday's coming up in July. Everybody in my life, by the way, is a cancer. It always has been that way. Anyone I'm close to, it's like a 90% chance they're a cancer. I don't know why. My mom's a cancer. My best friends are cancers. My goddaughter's cancer. My boyfriend is a cancer. So his birthday's coming up and I was like, we should go to Miami. Now, I've been watching, I watch all of the pandemic info and I think Florida <coughs> had one of like their record breaking years. Let me have some water. Where record breaking days, by the way, this is just life update chit chat. If you're still sticking around, that's all I'm doing. And I think yesterday, or I don't know, recently they had a day where they had 300. I cannot speak, I'm losing it. My brain is like scrambled. 3,300 new cases in one day. Now, granted, that can be for a lot of reasons. Finally, testing's more readily available, whatever. It just freaked me out and was like, we cannot go to Miami. Because I already wasn't going to go to places that were really populated. I wasn't going to go into bars that were really packed. Um, if the beach was too packed, I wasn't going to go. And so I started making me realize, like, why am I even going there? Because we'll probably just stay in the hotel. Because that's how paranoid I am about this. Um, 
So we decided on San Francisco, and that's what we're doing for 4th of July. We will see how that goes. I'm a little worried. I probably won't vlog it because I know, like, traveling right now is polarizing. Some people, I've seen my friends, they're in Vegas, they're at the pool, when crowded bars, I just can't do that. And then some people are just still not even leaving their house at all. Um, so, I, I feel like I'm kind of in the middle. I have gone out to eat at the restaurants where they practice social distancing. The one thing that I'm about to do that I'm a little scared of is I'm going to the salon in two days. And my mom just freaked me out about that. She kind of just screamed at me about going to the hair salon. But girl, if I have to wear any more of these big ass wigs, I'm just going to melt. So I got to go get my hair too. <laughs> That's probably the closest quarters thing I'm going to be doing. So anyways, I'm rambling. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you haven't seen my most recent video, you can check it out right here.